Handle with care. Handle what with care? Inside this box is my Kickstarter-backed Ouya. And in this video, we're gonna unbox it. So let's get to it. Now, I'm pretty excited right now because this is my first ever Kickstarter-backed product. I almost backed another product recently, another Android-based product, called the Mi PC. But I ended up passing on that one. I'm probably going to wait until there's a production run on that device. But for those of you who don't know, the Ouya, which is in this box, is an Android-based home video game console. Now, I'm really not much into video games like I was when I was younger. But I'm crazy for gadgets, and having an Android device hooked up to my television set can always be an advantage sometime down the line, because the Ouya is very hackable. But for right now, I'm going to keep it stock, and we're going to see what this new company offers with this cool new device. Now, if you've been following the Ouya at all, you know that it has had some mixed reviews. And I think we're really in a culture these days where everybody's very quick to judge things, and judge things really harshly without giving things the proper chance. Now, this device isn't going to be available for consumers until a month from now. So the Kickstarter backers get it early. I happen to be a later Kickstarter backer, so I got my device probably maybe a month, month and a half after they first started shipping out. But I'm still getting it early before it hits retail. And Ouya just got some venture capital backing recently, so they're really going to be pushing these devices into the retail channels that you're familiar with. So without any further ado, let me get my trusty cutter open here, and let's open up the Ouya video game console. And I'm pretty excited about this. Now this device cost $100, and I think that's what the price is going to be when it's at, in the retail chains as well. So right away you see Ouya, black on black. And it's almost like a, a shoebox, like a small shoebox. Let's put that to the side. Now it has uh, a couple seals on each side here, but it looks like it's a plain box. Here it says, Ouya, dreamt by gamers, designed in California. So let's get this thing opened. Let me break the seal on this. Again, like a small shoe box. And let's slide her open here. Thank you for believing. And here is the Ouya console and the controller. Now, as you can see here, the controller is in a couple pieces here. And that didn't break, it's just that these, these are face plates, and supposedly you can actually interchange these at a later date. Now, supposedly the early versions of this, these holes here, were a little small. So in the later runs of this, even in the Kickstarter version, supposedly they made these holes a little bit bigger. But I don't know if that's the case with this device here, so I'll let you know if I do run into any problems. But I believe these are magnetically connected to the console controller itself. So let's start with the controller. Let's pull it out here. And on each side, let's see how easily these open up here. There we go. On each side, you have a compartment for a, I believe, AA battery. So that way the weight is distributed evenly. So I don't know if it includes any batteries. If not, it's fine. I have rechargeables. But let's put these on here. And the controller has a nice weight to it, actually, which is a nice surprise. You have two analog controls here. You have your directional control here. And let's pull this off. And again, we've come to realize if you see plastic on something, it means it's glossy plastic. So let's just take a closer look here. Most everything is matte. You do have the glossy plastic here. The analog controls here are rubberized. And then you have your O 
or O U Y A, Ouya buttons there. And they have a nice click to them. And I really don't know how these buttons could get stuck under the faceplate because they don't push down below it. So again, I don't know if they fixed the issue, you know, since the earlier versions were shipped out. So I guess being a late Kickstarter backer had its benefits. Or again, like I said, if I do encounter it in the future, I'll let you know. You have a, an Ouya button here, which I don't know what that does. You have some areas for LEDs up here, so you know what controller you have. And then this area here, this black area, is actually touch sensitive. So for games like, I would suppose, like Angry Birds, for instance, things like that, you have a touch panel here or a touch pad there. You have your Ouya branding here. And again, everything's pretty much matte plastic. You have a gray and then you have a black. On the back, very smooth, nothing going on there. Now up top here, you have two shoulder buttons. and two triggers. And let's get these, get the plastic off of these. There we go. And then it looks like there's plastic over this as well. And that I would imagine is how this communicates with the device. I don't know if this is an IR remote or if this is um, Bluetooth. I'm assuming IR because it looks like the line of sight needs to be with the console there. But the controller seems to be really comfortable and the triggers have a nice spring to them. It's been a long time since I've held a controller in my hand. I actually did have a PS3 and an Xbox 360 and a Wii, but I sold those probably before I started this channel, so at least three years ago. So that's the remote. Again, it's got a nice heft to it. I mean, it's not heavy, heavy, but it seems pretty substantial in your hands. And this tiny thing here is the console itself. And it has a similar gray, I don't know if this is plastic, I assume it's plastic. And then you have your Ouya branding up front there. Up top here, you have some glossy plastic. And I believe you have your power button up top here as well. Right there, if you can hear it above the motorcycle outside. And then of course you have four screws there if you want to open this up and mess around with what's on the inside. Sort of has a, a U shape to it in a cube. A U cube. So let's get all this plastic off here. And you have the glossy plastic, you have venting on the bottom, and then you have four elongated feet around that circular bottom. On this side you have all the top backers, I think there are 10 of them. And I think they had to pay $10,000. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that, but I think you had to pay $10,000 to get your name engraved on the actual console itself. And I think that's their backer number there. So on the back of the device, you can see there's actually a seam back here on the gray. Uh, you have your power port here. You have a micro USB port here. You have your Ethernet port, you have an HDMI port, and you have what I assume is a USB 2.0 port there. On this side of the device, there's nothing, and again on the front, you have your Ouya. So let's put that to the side and see what else is in the box here. Okay, we do get batteries, and they are double A's. So there we go, two double A Duracells. Let's put that to the side. We'll put that in the controller in a second. You do get an HDMI port cord here, which is nice. Here is the power cord. And then you get 
some documentation here. And that's pretty much everything in the box. So let's pull these panels off the side again. And kind of have to, there we go. Kind of have to dig them out with your fingernails, which is good, because you just don't want them falling off. And let's see what we have here. Positive up top, negative on the bottom, Same on this side. There we go. Oh, and there's one thing I just noticed on this side here. You'll see that the directional pad here has a cutout for the cross there. So as it slides on there, covers it up. So, like I said, the controller already had a nice weight to it. And with the batteries in it, not that the batteries are that heavy, but with the batteries in it, has a decent weight to it, which is nice. So that is the Ouya Android-based video game console for your television set. This is the Kickstarter-backed version, cost me $100, and I'm really excited to try it out. So in my next video, I'm going to actually fire it up for the very first time. So I hope you join me in that video. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.